Rafael Skouras in the black with camo and blue trim, taking on local boy Ben Ellis in the black and white trunks. Ellis stalking, didn't take his eyes off him, didn't offer a touch of hands, and uh, the Grecian is on the back foot early here. Yeah, the only hand he was offering was that left jab. <laughs> Good uh, oversight kicks, though. I like that as he backs up, try and maintain the range. Ellis still stalking forward. It'll be interesting to see how Ellis approaches this one. We've obviously seen by the Greek fighter's record that he, he's got a couple of holes in his game on the mat. Oh, he looked, looked for the leg entanglement there early. He did. It was a nice uh, attempt at a sweep. He's got to maintain some form of guard here, though. Manages to grab that overhook, but it's not an ideal situation for him in this half guard here. Really needs to get onto that left hip. But he can slow the pace down. I, I think you saw some nerves from the Grecian there. And I, I think he's going to be, you know, if he can spend a minute or so here trying to deal with the position, he'll, he'll be better for it. But it's a good underhook on that left side for Ben Ellis. That's really going to help him keep his opponent flat on the, uh, on the mat. Oh, he's going his upper body down there, crushing score us into the mat that's an interesting decision from Ellis to give up that uh, that underhook he had double unders could work for a body lock to try and tightly walk up but uh, opting for a more traditional head and arm here let's get busy in this position please let's go and you hear referee Rich Mitchell there just asking for a little bit more from Ben Ellis he wants to keep this top position score us trying to find uh, some form of inside control with those elbows and Ellis starting to bring in the ground and pound here well, oh, Scorus looks very uncomfortable there, Josh. He did. And you know what? They're not big shots. They're short shots. They're annoying. They're scoring. Oh, he's oh. Out. Wow! Unbelievable! <laughs> ben Ellis knocks out Raphael Scorus with ground and pound. I don't think I've ever how seen that much power on the ground before. How do you how do you do that with short left hooks from, from a, a pressured half guard? Honestly, what? never seen it in that position. I, I tell you what, I don't want to find out. <laughs> I'd be oh, happy to wow. watch in the replays, I think. I am going to have to ask him very specifically about that, I think. Um, wow, I mean, look, he, he, he had a fantastic position on top. Yeah. Let's take a look at the replay and have a look. Here you go, tight position on top, and just tries to stay busy, throws some shots in. You wouldn't traditionally think these are hard shots, but just catches him clean on the temple, I guess. Yeah, precision over power, perhaps, there. And Scorus looking very uncomfortable as soon as Ellis started throwing these punches. Difficult to, to see from this angle, but his, his expression was one of extreme discomfort. Ellis absolutely jackhammering that left hand home. Scorus left unconscious looking at the lights. Ben Ellis, second professional win, still perfect. What a statement here at Cage Warriors 108. We'll throw this one to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 41 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of knockout in the red corner, Ben Ellis. What a statement from Ben Ellis. He'll join my broadcast colleague, Josh Palmer. I'm here. Oh, I'm here with our winner, Ben Ellis. Uh, ben, congratulations. Still undefeated as a pro, uh, undefeated through amateur as well. So how does it feel to uh, keep that record nice and clean? Oh, mate, thank you very much. Uh, like you say, including the amateur stuff, that's a 10-fight win streak. I think I've lost one round in those 10 fights. I'm going to smash everyone. Simple as that. I don't talk too much. I keep my mouth shut. My mates have to post on social media for me because I hate it, but I'm going to smash everyone. That's the plan. You did look supremely confident as you came out at the start there. Talk me through the finish, because we were all sitting cage side. I don't think we've ever seen anybody knocked out with short hooks from that kind of half guard. What, what kind of power are you bringing? Mega power. That's what power I got. No, um, we spend a lot of time on MMA-specific stuff, so ground and power is like a massive part of our training camp. So as soon as I freed up the, uh, the wizard he had on my right arm, as soon as I freed that up, I knew he was in a bit of trouble. <laughs> I know what you were going to say. Um, as you said yourself, 10 fights now undefeated, 2-0 and as a pro. You seem very confident. What's next for you on Cage Warriors? I want to fight Jordan Peake. Apparently, there's some big debate about who's the best featherweight in Wales. Let's find out. I'm up for that. He's up a little bit later. I'll let you go celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ben Ellis. 
A big win for Ben Ellis. A big statement in the cage and a big statement afterwards. He wants Jordan Peake. Peake will be...